Hey guys, my name is Brad and I want to first say thank you for running our camper. I hope you have a great experience and I'm going to do a little walkthrough to make sure that happens. So we have a Wildwood FSX, it's 20 feet long and I'm going to take you for a walk around on the outside. We'll show you where everything is and then we'll show you how to level the camper, how to disconnect it from the hitch and set it up for camping. Then we'll go inside and we'll talk about how to set up everything from the inside. So this is where all your tools and all your leveling equipment is going to, is going to be located. We have wheel chocks, so whenever we park, we're going to put out our wheel chocks. We also have leveling blocks. So this is going to help us level our camper from left and right. So just to take those apart, you just unscrew this black handle, and then they come out like big Legos. So whenever I pull into a camping spot, I always back up a little bit farther than I need to. Because I'm going to drive up onto these if I have to level it from left and right. So, if I have to level, if this side needs to come up, I'm going to put these under my wheels, like so. And then I'll drive my camper onto my leveling blocks and that'll level it from the left side. If the other side needs to go over or come become level, I'll put my blocks on the other side and drive up on it. So once I have that stationary and it's level over here, it's time to disconnect it from the truck. So we're going to put out some blocks so our jack can go on top of the blocks and it's going to help lift it a little bit better. There's these pins located on the weight stabilization. You're going to push this button and pull a pin out. It's on both sides. So you have one pin on here, one pin over here. These need to come out, these arms need to come out before you put your jack down. There's one. If the arm gets stuck, if this arm gets stuck, you can use this tool to pry the arm, to pry the arm off. Sometimes they have a little weight to them, so they'll get stuck, you'll need this to pry them off. So there. So now we have the, the arms disconnected, we can start raising our trailer. So sometimes it'll get stuck on the hitch. You'll have to jump on the hitch a little bit. And there you go, now it's free from the truck. So you wait till it's all disconnected. And I'm gonna pull my plug. So now we are completely disconnected from the truck. So if you remember, we leveled it from left and right with those yellow blocks, and now we're gonna be disconnected from the truck. So I'm gonna pull my truck out of the way so I can level it from front to back. We've leveled from left to right with the yellow blocks underneath the wheels. Now we need to level from front to back. So I will have a level inside and I'll check to figure out when it's level. And I'll just keep going down or up until the trailer is level and I'll go I'll kind of eyeball it at this point and kind of when I think it's level I'll go inside and check with a level so I'll just keep going until it's level all right so at that point it kind of looks level for me so I would go inside and check to see if it's level and if it's not level I'll either go up and down from this point all right so now we leveled it from front to back and now we can start our outside setup I get everything done on the outside first so then I'll come in here, and in here we have our, our water hose, and then we also have our power supply. So whenever I back up the trailer, you also have to know where your water supply and power supply is. And the hookups for those are located right here. So this is going to be your power supply, and then this just plugs in. and then screws on. This end goes to the hookup at the campsite. So then this will plug into the campsite. Your water hose connects the same way. So you'll see it says city water connection. That's the one we need. So you'll pop that off. You'll screw the male end into that part. And then this end 
goes to your tap at your water supply. All right, we have one last thing to set up on the outside, and that is our gray water and black water tank. We're gonna set this up at the dump site that's either located at your campsite, or most campsites have a dump station that you have to drive to and do this at a station. So to make those connections, you need three things. You need your slinky, you need your hose, and you need your adapter to connect it to the septic tank. You'll find the slinky in the front compartment where all our tools are located. You'll also find the adapter up there where all the tools are. You'll find the hose in the rear of the bumper. If you happen to park too far away from the connection for the septic, we have two hoses and they're both located in that bumper. So to make that connection, you're just gonna take your hose, take your cap off, I'm sorry, take your cap off. You have another cap here and you're just gonna take that off. And then you take your hose and twist it on until there's little locking pins on there until that locks. And then you're gonna take your adapter and do the same thing. You're gonna take this cap off and you're gonna put your adapter on. Sorry, it's, a little, it's off with one hand. And make sure those locking pins lock. And then this is gonna go into the hole for the dump site. And it lets you have a, a sight glass so you can see when you're done dumping your tank. Now I'm gonna take my slinky and support it underneath the hose. So you'll sometimes use all the slinky, sometimes you won't use any of the slinky. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It just goes on and this slides out as far as you need. And it's basically just there to support the hose. So, so that is what the connection is gonna look like from the camper all the way to the dump site. So now if I needed to flush my tanks, I have two levers here. I have a gray, and like I said, gray is your shower and your sinks, and then I have a black, that is your toilet. So I don't dump either of my tanks until I'm at least two thirds full. So if I need to dump my gray, I'll pull this lever out and it'll flush all the gray water down the tube and into your septic. If I need to dump the black, I'll pull the black lever all the way out and it'll dump all my black water all the way down the tube into the septic. You have a little sight glass here that's located on your adapter and you'll see all the water flowing out of there and when it stops flowing, your tanks are empty. So once my tank is empty, I go back up to my valve and I shut it. And then we are done dumping our tank and you can go back inside and push on the control panel. You can see if they're empty or not. So now that we have the camper leveled from side to side and we leveled it from front to back, we need to put out our stabilizers so when you're inside, the camper isn't rocking back and forth. So whatever blocks you didn't use to level with your wheels, you're gonna use those underneath the stabilizers. So we have two more big ones. So you'll throw one under there and then I'll demonstrate how to do this one. There's four of them. There's one on each corner of the trailer that needs to be done. So I will kind of line it up and then you're gonna use this tool to lower your jack. When it gets close, I kind of line it up a little better. All right, so now this corner is stabilized. We need to do this on all four corners. All four corners have a jack for you to stabilize four corners. And then the outside preparation is done. And we can hop inside and set everything else up. So now that we did a quick walkthrough on how to set up, we're gonna talk about finishing setup and go around the inside. So first get into the door. There's this safety, safety mechanism that you just lift up and pull it out. And then it locks into place. That's all you need to do. And then just a handle opens the door. And then there's some foldable stairs right here that you just pull. And then unfold this one. Right. So to finish setting up, we have a control panel that we're going to need to use to get our slide out out and to put our awning out. So for the slide, 
You just hold up and it's gonna slide your slide out. You just keep holding it down until it slides out all the way and stops going. When parking your camper, I would take into consideration your slide out. You don't wanna to park too close to trees. You have about 36 inches from the camper and how far the slide out comes. So park about 36 inches from something else. So it takes, takes a little bit of time to get out. All right, so stop making noise so I can let go. So the slide out is done. Now I'm gonna put my awning out. It's the button right to the left of it. But, and then, so I just hold it, and they'll put your whole line awning out. One consideration you need to think of is the door and not letting the door be fully open when putting your awning out because it'll hit it'll hit the arm that's being that's letting the awning out. Alright, so this will keep going. If you hold the button down, it'll keep going and then it'll fold. See? So I usually stop it a little early to about the height that I want. There's also lights that are out here. There's LED light strip. And to turn those on and off, it's at this panel also. It's just this button right here. So on, off. This is your interior light. So this button only controls one light in here. And it's this one right here. All the other lights in the camper are push button. So you would just push the button and they turn off. Push the button turns off. So let's talk about our panel a little bit. We have our battery switch. So it's telling us our battery is two thirds. We have our fresh water tank. So we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank. So if we need to, if we're going where they don't have a water connection, we have fresh water and that's empty. You have your black water tank, which is your toilet. So if I hold that, that's also empty. I never dump my black water until it gets to two thirds because you don't want toilet paper piling up. So we wait till it's two thirds to at least dump it. Your gray water is your kitchen sink and your shower and your sink in the bathroom. That is also empty right now. Same thing with this one. I wait till it's two thirds till I dump it. And that's the control panel for this camper. You first walk in on the right, you'll notice that we have a little seating area. This is also where your queen Murphy size bed is. So to access that bed, I just put these down at night. There's a latch right over here that you just push the bed and then pull up on it. This folds down and then the bed will fold down and then you'll be able to sleep at night. And there's your bed and sleeping quarters. We also have some storage up here, some games, lanterns, charging stations, um, some flashlights, first aid kit, some miscellaneous things in there, some books for you to read. There's a storage over here for clothes and, and other items that you want to use. Over here is your dining room, and it also converts to a bed. So we have a lot of storage. So this storage over here is empty. We like to put a lot of our, our food, our dry materials in here. Um, whatever we're cooking and whatever food we bring, we'll bring, we'll put in there. Over here is anything in here is for your use. So you'll have garbage bags, you'll have paper products, you have Ziploc bags, cooking items, paper towels. Um, all your kitchen materials are gonna be in here. And then farther back in there, back in this area, there's some more pots, pans, and some lids for so more. So over here we have our kitchen, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the only things I wanna highlight is the range. So this is just to protect the burners. So this, if you're gonna use the range, this needs to come up and out of the way. It does not have an automatic lighter, igniter, sorry. So. You're going to just turn the gas on and you'll use a lighter to light your range. All your utensils and uh, there's knives in here, cutting board, pot holders, plastic wear if you don't feel like doing dishes. Um, anything on this camper is for you guys to use. 
Under here, there's some more kitchen items, cooking items, some spices, basic spices for you guys to use. Up here, we have more, some more paper plates. If you don't want to use paper products, you can also use um, stoneware. And then we also have coffee mugs and to-go coffee mugs for you guys to use. It has a very large, very large refrigerator. So it has a lock. So whenever you need, whenever you're towing the vehicle, this needs to be locked. So to unlock it, you just push it over. And then nice size refrigerator, nice size freezer. We have ice trays in there for you if you want to make some ice. And then, so like I said, whenever we're going to leave, we're going to lock that back in place. So on this side, you can see we have two full-size bunks. Each bunk can sleep two kids. There's plenty of room. They're good size. Uh, they, each bunk also has a light. Um, one on top, one on bottom. Like I said, it's just the push buttons in the middle. They both also have charging stations uh, if your kids need charging stations for their pads or anything like that. So then we have our restroom. And I'll go over a couple things right here. It's fully stocked. We have towels. We have a toilet. We have a nice size shower with an exhaust fan. And then we have some storage if you bring your own toiletries or anything like that. We have a sink in here. It's stocked with toilet paper also. And then we have a medicine cabinet that's stocked. Like I said, if you see anything on the camper, it's for your use. We have bug spray, some hand sanitizer, some more band-aids. Um, and then down here we have some more, we have face cloths, we have soaps for children and grown-ups. So that's all in there. And then let me go over the toilet real fast. So the toilet has a pedal on the right side that you hold down and it'll fill with water. So when flushing the toilet, I always fill it with water. If you hold it halfway, it'll fill the toilet with water and then I'll flush it. You have to fill the toilet up with water first before you flush it. Um, and then I'll hold it down for five seconds or so, let the water fill, fill the tank up and then I'll release it. So you can see it opening and closing. All right, so we've enjoyed a great weekend of camping. It's time to go home, so we're going to pack it up real fast. It's basically everything we just did, but opposite. So we're going to make sure our refrigerator is locked. We're going to make sure any loose items that we have are all put away. I just throw them all in the sink. There's some soap already here in the sink that you can see. So I just like to throw everything in the sink. We're going to make sure our glass is down. Everything is closed. All the drawers are closed. We're gonna make sure all our decorations are off the wall because those will fly. And you can just throw them underneath the seats if you want and wherever you wanna put them, that's fine. And then we're gonna make sure our bed goes up and it's just the opposite. So we're gonna push it up. It has a memory foam mattress on it. So you kinda gotta, you just gotta let it, give it a good squeeze. All right, so then we'll see our, our latch here. We're just going to push it until that latch goes in the little hole. All right, so that's up. Put the cushions up. All right, make sure everything is, is all tidied up and nothing's going to fly. Any loose items is going to fly while we're towing it. So now it's time to put in our awning. So remember, the one on the left is the awning. So we're going to... Down is going to bring it back. And then just like I said, remember, make sure your door is not fully open because it will hit that arm. And then it's going to mess up trying to bring your awning back and you're going to hear some noises. So it takes a little while for it to bring back in. Okay, our awning is up. All right, now it's time to put our slide out back in. So down, and you're going to hear it make a, make a noise. And you keep holding down until that slide is all the way in. Once the slide's all the way in, it'll stop making noise, and that's when you know you can let go of the button. But you do have to hold the button all the way down for it to keep going. All right, so it's not making noise, so I'm gonna let go. 
And that is, and then I make sure all my switches are off. Make sure everything is all done at the panel. So now we're done with the inside stuff. Okay, so remember, we gotta put all our stabilizers up. So once I do that, go to the left, and it's gonna go up. And I'm gonna do this on all four corners. These just click in like big Legos. And then this black handle goes in the middle. All right, so let's talk about how to hook it back up to the truck, because now you're gonna be towing it home. So let's talk about that. So I'm gonna raise this, because this has to be higher than my hitch. So I'm just gonna raise it. Until I think it's about where I need to be. All right, once I have that raised, I'm gonna hop in my truck and I'm gonna back it up and line the ball up with this part and then I'm gonna lower it onto my hitch ball. All right, once I have it lined up with my ball, I'm gonna lower it onto the ball. I'm not gonna go all the way because I gotta put my weight distribution arms back on. So I'm gonna stop. And then these are your weight distribution arms. Remember, we took them off when we first started this video. So I'm just gonna stick them in the hole. And you should. Then they click in. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. I'm gonna grab the other one. Stick it in the hole. And then it clicks. You have to use this tool in order to get them back in there. So there's a little notch right here. I'm gonna stick it in this first hole right here. So like this. So then the arm just sits into that little C cup and then I just lift up on it and it goes into there. Sometimes you gotta give it a little bit more so I stick it back into that hole and I just give it a little bit more push. And then I take my pin and I stick it into the last hole. There's two holes. I stick it into the farthest one towards the trailer. So then I'm gonna hop on the other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take that little doohickey, I don't know what they call it. I'm gonna stick, stick it into the C and I'm just gonna lift up. It's very easy to lift up on it. Until it goes in there. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit more push it back a little bit more because if you don't push that back enough you're not gonna be able to get your pin in so then there's a little button so those are locked I'm gonna hook up my power to my truck it's a seven pin so your truck has to have a seven pin to hook this up and that just slides in there and then I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna hook up my chains to my hitch and they have a braking system so if you ever, if the trailer happens to come off, this will tighten up and your trailer will break. So I gotta make sure that wire's there. And then I'm gonna continue. Continue lowering this until, until it's fully retracted. And then we are hooked up and we're ready to go. Before I pull out, I always do one more walk around, make sure all my compartments are closed, make sure they're all locked, make sure I didn't forget anything. I'm gonna grab my wheel chocks because if you don't grab your wheel chocks, you won't be able to pull away. So I make sure I have everything and then I clean up and then head home. That's about it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach us. We can help you with anything you need. Thanks.